Rocky, what do we got here? This is a Sparrow Sports Special, our second in the line of aircraft. It's uh, designed basically to take the place of the lightweight ultralight if the FAA would ever give us the weight increase, which today is kind of doubtful. What kind of construction are you using in, uh, in your airplanes? This is 4130 chrome molly, welded fuselage, landing gear, engine mount, and uh, tail surfaces. The wings are extruded I-beam and uh, aluminum ribs. Seek and eye covering? Seek and eye covering. It, it, how does it come to the average builder then? Uh, like in, uh, in a four boxes, three boxes? It comes in one large crate, less engine. And what kind of time is the uh, average person looking to put something like this About together? About 500 hours. Okay. Now this is one model, the, uh, the Sport Special, but you've also got a little uh, Sparrowette single place? We have the Sparrowette, which is a two-place ultralight trainer. Okay. We have the Sparrow Ultralight and the Sparrow 2, which is a side-to-side -side two place. Yeah. Now getting back to the Sport Special, what kind of performance are you getting out of the Special? The Special here, depending upon a power plant used, and of course this one is a little bit heavy with all the extras, but we're a good 85 mile an hour cruise a minute. Okay. This aircraft does cruise at 85 mile an hour, and take off roll depending upon the weight of the aircraft, like I said. The bare aircraft is 360 pounds, and the 503 52 horsepower road tax will get off the ground with our demo pilot in 85 feet, and a rate of climb indicated was 1,200 foot a minute. Uh, stall speed on it, you're down around 32 mile an hour, and he's even reported below that. I don't know if his imagination or not, it shouldn't stall that, but with uh, the wide wing, I suppose, at his light weight, he was getting it down below 30 mile an hour stall speed. Uh, now, is there any other engine options available for it? Yes, you can use the 447 Rotax, you use the 503 Rotax, or you can use the two-cylinder 40 horsepower Mosler, which uh, some of the people have put in it. Okay. Now, is there any special tooling or equipment that I'm going to need to build it? No special tooling. You're going to need a hand pop riveter, electric drill motor, reams, uh, normal hand tools. What, well, kind of, what kind of space am I looking at to build it in then? You can build it in a one-car garage. Um, how many of, of Car like Carlson's been in business for a while now? How many years has the factory been in business? Since '87. Uh, okay. How many uh, kits have, uh, are actually out there flying now? I've lost track of them, but I know there's over 100. Okay. There are plans available for the airplane as well? Uh, no, we do not sell plans at this time. We're considering putting plans for the ultralight on the market. Uh, reason being is when we produce plans, we use them for shop work and not enough for the individual to build the airplane from. Now, what about uh, Carlson, the, the factory itself? You don't just supply aircraft. You also supply parts and pieces? Yes, we do uh, supply the industry with spars, struts, and ribs of different airfoils for different customers. Okay. Now, if somebody wants more information on Carlson Aircraft and the product you sell, where do we get a hold of you? Uh, Carlson Aircraft Incorporated, P.O. Box 88, East Palestine, Ohio, zip 44413. Phone number, area code 216-426-3934, 8 to 5. Thank you very much, Senator. Okay, have a good day.